people will try to censor you in talking about it, but we know that animal products in particular contain nutrients that are very supportive of good mental health. And there have been a number of studies that have shown that particularly vegan diets put people at increased risk for depression, at least a doubling of risk. Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Welcome to the YouTube channel, not hosted by a sociopath or a narcissist selling their expensive supplements. No, I, Ryan, am your host. And as you guys know, if you've been watching, I typically have a very professional, calm, and rational demeanor. I was trained in philosophy, not fighting or anything like that. And I hope to try to maintain that standard through today's video. But today's person I'm going to cover here, I've never heard him before, Max Lugavere. A viewer forwarded this a cop, a clip from Instagram so I could check it out. and. No, I just have no compassion for just, just people that peddle such extreme misinformation and are charlatans in my opinion. So I'm going to try to be cool and calm, but it's going to be tough. And let's just jump right into this clip from Instagram. Max Lugavere. He's the author of the New York Times bestselling book, Genius Foods. A brain food expert. He's just the best in the world at what he does. All right, so already some red flags should be going off. Did you hear those random voices saying that he's a brain food expert and the best in the world? There is no better person in the world than Max Lugavere at what he does, brain food expertise. I'm already wondering what kind of training, what kind of proper education does he have? Is he a PhD, a researcher? Maybe he's a medical doctor? No, if you go to his about page, he's like, he's like me. He's a social media content creator, he's a podcaster, He's an author. He has absolutely zero training in brain health, no formal education, no degrees, no experience treating patients, no experience conducting research, none. He's just a dude, but he's the best in the world at what he does. He's a brain health expert, Um, really. There's a lot of misinformation out there. And so my passion is to know what's true. I mean, the irony is so strong here. I mean, this is what I've been doing since 2013 on our YouTube channel here is separating misinformation information from actual evidence-based information. And as you'll see here, he's a spreader of misinformation and it's totally obvious. Controversial new research surrounding meat in our diet. Red meat is not associated with the health problems we've been told for decades. Oh really, red meat is not associated with health problems. That's a big claim. Extreme claims demand extraordinary evidence and we'll take a look at that in one second. Before I do that, I wanna emphasize why I'm vegan. Vegan is not a health movement or anything like that. It doesn't mean I'm trying to be the healthiest guy in the world or anything like that. Veganism is an ethical stance against animal cruelty and exploitation. And you could do it in an unhealthy way if you want. Just have beer, Oreos, and kale every day. Call yourself a vegan. It's not the greatest way to do it, but that's technically vegan. But let's talk about some of these health claims that he's making about how unhealthy it is to be vegan, or in this case, how, how great it is to eat meat. There are no associations. That's his word there. Word there. No associations between eating red meat with unhealthy outcomes. Red meat is not associated with the health problems we've been told for decades. However, he's ignoring the mountain of science that says otherwise. I mean, I don't even know where to start. Here's a recent study from 2020 looking at the associations of red meat and processed meat with cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. So if we jump to the findings, this intake of both processed meat and unprocessed red meat, which he was just touting there as not having any negative associations health-wise. Red meat is not associated with the health problems we've been told for decades. It says, was significantly associated with cardiovascular disease. And likewise, intake of processed meat and unprocessed red meat, his thing, was significantly associated with all-cause mortality. And furthermore, the World Health Organization, after having reviewed the scientific literature, has classified red meat meat as a group 2A carcinogen. And that's because current research shows there are certain chemicals in red and processed meats, both added and naturally occurring, so you'll still get it in your grass-fed beef if that's what he's into, that cause these foods to be carcinogenic. Red meat is not associated with the health problems we've been told for decades. No, you're just simply wrong here. I mean, the, the evidence says otherwise. How are you going to dance around this? Are you going to debunk the World Health Organization and the scientific consensus out there? 
there and just rely on some outlier studies and say, look, there is zero associations because a few of these weird outlier studies say there are none, despite the amount of evidence showing otherwise. Yeah, trust this guy. No PhD, non-medical doctor, self-proclaimed health expert. Trust him instead of the mountain of science. Yeah. People will try to censor you in talking about it, but we know that animal products in particular contain nutrients that are very supportive of good mental health. And there have been a number of studies that have shown that particularly vegan diets put people at increased risk for depression, at least a doubling of risk. This guy reminds me of ChatGPT. You know when like, you ask ChatGPT a question and you know the answer is completely wrong, but ChatGPT says it in such a, a confident way that it sounds like it's true, but it's not. And this guy is exact same as ChatGPT or just making all these bold claims like, oh, vegans are more depressed, twice as much depression as in non-vegans. And I know exactly what study he's talking about in 2020 uh, the daily mail published uh, they didn't even link to the study they just talked about the the findings of the study about how vegans are way more depressed than non-vegans and there's some huge problems with the study i'm not saying the study sucks i'm not one to critique it i'm not a research expert or anything like that but it's not the slam dunk that your average lay person thinks first of all this study into vegan depression was funded by no other than the beef industry. It's an industry funded study. The Beef Checkoff Program funded through the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. And let me be very clear here. I'm not saying just because this was an industry funded study that this study is complete crap and we can't trust any of it. I'm just asking why is the beef industry funding a study to try to get some proof that if you eat meat you'll be very happy and poor vegans, you know, they're gonna be totally depressed and they should eat meat. And since Max is a big brain health expert, I'm gonna use my strong vegan brain here and recall a memory from 2020 when this article, when the study came out. And Mike the Vegan did a very thorough discussion of some of the problems of this study. And let me just play a little clip here to show you what I'm talking about. But there's a huge point that's worth mentioning in terms of the methodology here. And that is that virtually all of the studies that they looked at were cross-sectional. They were snapshots in time, which are absolutely not equipped to determine causation, which the internet has definitely gone ahead and rolled with, you know, that not eating meat causes depression seems to be the conclusion for many people. No better design would be a control trial that took people, split them into two groups, made one group vegetarian, and then measured their mental health results later. And it just so happens that one of the 18 studies was this type of study. And from the summary of their conclusion, quote, vegetarians reported significantly better mood than omnivores and fish eaters after the trial. This completely flies in the face of the conclusion of the researchers that the highest quality studies showed that vegetarians were more depressed. That is simply the opposite of what is going on here. So yes, it's far from a slam dunk to say that science is conclusive that if you eat a vegan or vegetarian diet, that will cause you to become depressed because as Mike pointed out, these studies were not equipped to determine causation. And the only one that was showed that vegans were happier. So, so much for these claims that if you go vegan, you'll be depressed. But it gets even worse now. Here's why I really don't like this Max guy. How, you'll see, he's gonna, I'm not even gonna, just, let me just jump right in here. This is this complete low life maneuver here. I mean, food is so powerful. It's medicine. I get passionate about this because my mom was a vegetarian. It's clear that her low meat diet didn't protect her. So as you'll see here, he's gonna blame his mom's vegetarian diet, her meatless diet, for not protecting her from a disease that can happen to any person on any diet. But no, it's the plant-based diet that caused her to suffer from dementia. There was a period where she got really bad really fast. And then it was just so incredibly hard. So yes, of course, I'm saddened and I feel for Max for having lost his mother. She was only 58 when she passed from dementia and she, she it happened rather quickly as, as he said. It was you know, quite a shock to, to see an otherwise healthy person decline rapidly and eventually pass away. But the issue I have with Max is what he's saying here is that her meatless diet didn't protect her from dementia. So according to the story he tells about himself on the internet, he said his mom's passing from dementia led him to, to become this 
world's foremost authority on brain foods and brain health and led him to this diet that he promotes to anyone who will listen. He has a really large following. People are listening to him and these essential nutrients that you must have and you apparently can't get them as a vegan because his mom you know, wasn't protected by, by um, Von der Meatless diet. But anyway, this is so ridiculous. Here is what he said you got to eat to protect your brain, to get brain health. Omega-3 fatty acids, no problem as a vegan. I get them in flax seeds and other supplements that you can take. Um, protein, duh, like all plants have protein and we're not missing any. They're all essential proteins. And if you want some extra protein, just take a protein supplement like, like all your bodybuilder friends who are not vegan are taking as well. Just take it in smaller doses if you don't want to get super swole. And lastly, yeah, dark leafy greens. Yeah, we get that as vegans. So I don't see why we have to consume all these animal products to get these supposed essential brain nutrients when you can get them all in plants. And what's even more frustrating is hearing this Dr. Alan Vora, this is from the People article on him, a holistic psychiatrist, whatever that is, says, these diet changes certainly help with dementia, but here's the kicker. They're also going to help with many other things like heart disease, cancer prevention, and mental health, which is not only ironic, but potentially life dangering misinformation. As we showed earlier, the studies that show that there is a clear significant association between the intake of red meat, which he promotes as brain food, and incidence of cardiovascular disease and all cause mortality. And speaking of cancer, yes, remember the World Health Organization has classified red meat as a carcinogen. I just want to point out, I have still yet to see potatoes or grains to be classified as carcinogens. I point out grains because he has a thing against grains. He thinks they're really bad for you. There were times I thought about suicide. I don't want to seem careless here, but I thought you said your meat diet protects your mental health, right? And it's only us vegans who get depressed. It really showed me how fragile life is. We have incredible agency to change our destiny and to change the way, really, ultimately, most of us are aging today. So how do we change that? What do you need to do? Well, you need to follow him on social media, listen to his podcasts, read his brain books, and follow his brain diet. But most importantly, don't eat vegan stuff because he makes social media posts just slamming vegan stuff as being scams. Not only is he against the processed stuff like vegan butter, milk, eggs, and meat as being scams, plant-based diets in general are a scam. Like, oh really, please explain to me how eating a diet of whole food plants is a scam. No one's being scammed anywhere there. If anyone's scamming anyone, it's this Max guy telling people not to eat plant-based diets for no reason other than he thinks that it didn't protect his, they didn't protect his mom's brain properly and eat his animal-based diet with some plants because that's what's gonna save your brain. And for those of you out there who might be wondering, okay, I guess I could think about going vegan. I'm against animal cruelty and exploitation. The question is, are you screwing yourself? Are you harming yourself? Is it a nutritionally deficient diet? Well, don't take my word. Again, I'm not a health expert and neither is Max. Neither of us have the proper qualifications or training, but I look to those who are experts in the field. And one source you guys see me citing often is the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, their position statement on vegan and vegetarian diets. And they say an appropriately planned vegan diet is nutritionally adequate for all people in all stages of life, infancy, through old age, even athletes. And vegan diets also help lower your risk of certain diseases, as I pointed out earlier too. Which brings me to this tweet here from Max about how he doesn't like the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics. He thinks they are fraudulent or can't be trusted because they receive funding from manufacturers of ultra-processed foods, seed oils, grain products, fake meat, soda, etc., and also own stock them. We are screwed. So first of all, I want to mention that nowhere in the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics position statement do they recommend that you eat processed foods like this, seed oils and fake meats. You can if you want, you know, but it's not a necessary part of being vegan. So I don't see any reason why they, they can't take funding from these companies. I don't see a conflict of interest undermining their credibility. But if you look on Max's own website, I see some problems there. He's actively promoting butcher box, taking money from butcher your box and actively promoting eating meat. Hmm, is there maybe a conflict of interest there? But no, we can't trust the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics for
for um, taking some money from a grain company. And I'm sure there's way more I could talk about Max Lugavere if I went down the Max Lugavere rabbit hole, but like I said, I just was informed about him like a couple days ago and I looked at a few things, particularly this Instagram video that was forwarded to me and just did a little more research and let me know if there's more things I really need to, need to see about him or it really says some even more outrageous stuff about eating vegan or plant-based diets than what I already saw. I'm sure there are. So if you guys know more about him and other anti-vegan nonsensical things, non-evidence-based things they may have said, please let me know down in the comments there. And I, hopefully let me know if I did a decent job of keeping it together here. I just really don't like how he used his mom's death as some kind of springboard into promoting eating meat. I just think that's a low move. And that's why I, I called him some un nice, unkind things at the beginning of this uh, video here. So please forgive me. I just, I, I just don't. I have no compassion for such a, an antic like that. So hit, hit like up there, I guess that was comment, questions down below, subscribe, become a channel member, and remember, remember until next time, it doesn't suck being vegan.